What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another video today, guys. Back at it like a motherfucking crack addict. Pussy popping on the motherfucking handstand. There you go. I know I gotta, I gotta help. I gotta make both sides of the parties happier. So today, I'm gonna bless both of you guys. Huge shout out to the notification gang. If you aren't already, hit that bell and make sure you have those notifications turned on to always, so you always know when a new video drops. Now today guys, we're doing a review on the Yeezy 500 Desert Rat, AKA the Blush, Desert Rat Blush. Now, I don't know if these are called this, the Desert Rat, the shoe model itself, because the yellow version is called the Yellow Desert Rat. So I don't know what the hell, what, what, what the hell a Desert Rat is at the end of the day. But overall, this is the Blush colorway. These released this past weekend, they actually released kind of early also, like during uh, the All-Star Weekend in LA, I know Bull RC had grabbed a pair early and he had that pair ever since. However, I was not that lucky. These uh, released this past Saturday was pretty, I don't know want to say easy, but a lot of people checked out that was on the live stream with me. I mean, I mean, maybe if you just join my live stream, you get good luck like I did and like a lot of other people did. Yeezys are getting easier and easier to come by. The retail was $200 and this sneaker is probably one of the most hated sneakers in the sneaker game. Now I got something I wanna go against on that. I think these sneakers are not that ugly. I like them. And like I stated before, if you know me, I like ugly shoes. That's just how I am in general. Like, that's just what it is. Materials wise, you got leather, you got mesh, and you got a nice, very buttery suede running throughout the whole sneaker. I am not, like I stated before, 100% if there's boost going on in this shoe. I do know that there is the ortholite, which is the insole, which is very, very soft. You find those a lot in the sh uh, shadow knits. Well, let me just see something. These are not, there's no boost in here. No, 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 I don't wanna, no, no. It would say Yeezy Boost 500, if I, I believe, because I believe the other ones are the Yeezy 300, Bo or Yeezy Boost Wave Runner. I, I don't know, there's, there's no boost though. There's no, nothing boost. I don't see boost anywhere on the sneaker at all. All I see is, Adidas Preen, which I don't know what that is at all, and uh, non-marking, a non-marking bottom. So for a $200 price point, that is pretty steep if there's no boost technology in it. However, I, I like the shoe, man. I mean, it is what it is. Like, it, if you know Tony D, you know Tony D, and it is what it is. More colorways are expected to release. They actually just began sending out pre-orders on the yellow Deseret, which you had to spend $800 to get, which I think was totally insane. However, I indulged on it, you know, it, 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 I, had, I, I thought those were going to be the first pair to ever come out and I wanted to get the review out, well, I ended up getting the blushes before, so now, it's a little slap to the face. And those are even released into the main public, so I'm not probably doing any more pre-orders when it comes to Adidas when I can just cop, you know, on release day and get the sneaker way faster than dropping 800 and not having a shoe. I mean, I had to spend 800 for that sneaker, now, you could just cop this shoe, just for retail, the shoe. You don't have to buy all that Yeezy, all the clothing and shit like that. So it's kind of, it's kind of steep. Feel free though, leave your comments down below why you hate the shoe, why you like this shoe. I would like to know your age too. Like I'm 17 and I like this shoe. I'm 25 and I hate this shoe. I'm 30 and I like this shoe. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions. Do not, see, the problem that, that you guys feel like people have is the problem that I have in the other aspect. If you took the Kanye Yeezy tag off of it, I would definitely look into buying the shoe. Now you guys are saying that if it, the easy thing was taken off, I wouldn't buy the shoe. Well, let me show you a couple of my ugly sn style sneakers that fit right in this category, okay? Just for you. So models that are very similar to this is like I stated before, the Adidas 93 Tubular, and it's a hybrid model that features the 93 Tubular Upper with a new version of the Tubular Bottom. Now this is actually the Tubular Bottom from, I wanna say 2015, I think, when the Tubular just came back out. Now the tubular's been around since 93 and this is the upper of the 93 version. Really fat, clunky type of sneaker. And then this is the even newer version of the tubular that has dropped. And this thing is just on a whole nother level. Now I really like this, the knitting, the mesh, and the mixture of materials in the bottom right there. And it's just been a transfer and I feel like they kind of daddied it up a little bit. And then they gave us this bottom right here. It's very, very close to that of the Adidas Top, two, top 10 2000, I feel like. The first ever Kobe Bryant shoe. The bottom is very, very similar to that of this sneaker right here. Now look, I'm not trying to you know, persuade you and give you reasons why. All I'm stating is that I'm really on the vibes of the bigger sneakers and 
I just like it how they look, and it is what it is. Now, I need one favor from you guys out there. I'm going to pin the comment of the first person I see that posts this. Guys, what is this right here come from? This is from another sneaker right here, this thing. I, I can't pinpoint it what it is. This little circular eight shit is on another shoe. This part, this tongue, I, I just cannot pinpoint what sneaker it is. I feel like I had the sneaker in my collection. If you know the shoe, please comment that down below in the comment section on what this is coming from because it's it's bug. It's really, really bugging me. Whoever does it first, I'm gonna pin your comment and uh, you know, I'm gonna definitely say thank you for that. So let me know you guys' you know thoughts on what that mid that 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 tongue's all about. But overall, guys, I like this sneaker a lot. I want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Feel free to leave your cri criticism on whatever you think. And, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I love you guys for the full love and support. The honesty as always. And it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and end it off with an on foot. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And also go subscribe to my secondary channel, too Wild for TV, which is linked down below in the description because I got new stuff getting posted on that channel as well. Let's get to the on foot. Let's go. I'm checking out. Peace.